So, hey, you know what time it is? Book talk. It's book talk, my favorite time. I love it. So, I had a rough week of it. Me too. Um, when it came to books, specifically. Uh, I picked up... Me one... too. Four, four chapters. That's, that's as far as I got. I, I read four books. Two books. <laughs> two books. No, I mean, I read, well, four and a half books. So, very, very light week for me. But, um... So two books from one series, two books from another series, right? Um, and I'm not, because we don't have a lot of time, I'm not going to go into the series, uh, except for the one that I actually was enjoying reading. Yeah. But it was just, I don't know if they just caught me wrong, or they truly weren't, like, good, or, or what in it the was. Mood or... But, like, yeah, it, I just could not get into these things. They actually kind of... I thought you did. Yeah, we no, got I a did. red light over there. That doesn't mean anything. There's always four, a red light over five, there. Three, four, five, six, seven red lights. Um, but the series I actually really started reading and enjoying again was the third arc for a book series, like a very long book series, right? Um, that I've been reading. I guess it's the third it, it would be more accurate to call it the third sequel to a series okay right because there was like so the part first, three of yeah part, there was yeah. like the the 10 book of the first, first part and then so the many of, book this, okay. of the second and i think so this was, is the third major arc yeah. story of the full but it's like i had made it for through the first two and then like i hit burnout and I was like, ah, oh, okay. And then now I'm just now coming back to it, right? Because I saw it pop up again. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. Um, what? Okay, Pearl, I need you to chill out. Okay, so the first book in the first arc of the series is called Child of the Ghost. I don't think you've talked about this one. I ever. haven't. Uh, by Jonathan Muller, right? Artist sounds familiar. He's, he's put out a lot of work. He's actually put out some Linux books, too. That's probably what makes it sound more familiar. Um, but, so, in the first book, you're following this, um, I forget the, the main protagonist's name right now, right? It starts with, like, a C. Character. Yeah, uh, and this, this kid, uh, and she's, you know, She's a child. She's dealing with difficulties with her mom, who is a more or less failed mage. Okay. Right? Like, she's just not powerful enough to really be accepted in mage culture. So she has the skill, just not good at it. No, she has no skill. Oh. And no power, really. Realistically. Oh, so she speaking. was just trying to learn it, too. Yeah, and she's desperately, like, craving more power. <laughs> and so she married for political reasons only to find out that her husband didn't really have political aspirations. It was all the show. Yeah. And so have a kid, their daughter, and then it's from their daughter's perspective. Her mom essentially treats her daughter like shit. Um, and sometimes we'll use her powers to like do like mind manipulation on like her and the other servants. And so some weirdness is going on and the father is getting fed up with the mom's shit because, you know, she's, uh, he finds out that she's in, uh, communication with some very unsavory mages. Unsavory sorts. Like some who do, like, necromancy and, like, blood rituals and stuff like that. Oh, no, this is fine. And so he goes to report her to what is called the Emperor's Ghost. And the ghosts are, like, they're like the boogeymen. They're the right. super soldiers, the no. SS? No. No? Well, they're like, they're like spies and assassins for the Emperor. So they're Illuminati? Well, kind, kind of. It's like a secret organization, right? Okay. Um, and their purpose is to keep the nobles and the sorcerers in line. and stuff. For, yeah, in line. And keep them from... You know, over overgoing and, yeah. their mandate and okay. stuff like this, right? Um, so I'm guessing, from what you're saying, the mages join an order, join an organization, and have to abide by certain rules put in place. Yeah, certain rules put in place 
and by, if they by don't, the mages guild. Yes, right. So the the mages police themselves, and you know, like everyone who police themselves. Yeah. I mean that line's a little bit crooked, but we're fixing it so it doesn't need to happen outside a house. But when something so, happens majorly outside a house, that's when the Illuminati in a the, way the, in. the ghost. Yeah, the that's ghost. what the organization is called. Okay, the ghost. The the emperor's ghost. Um, but that's not frightening at all. And so she, you know, her her mother essentially come mind wipes the father. So the ghost report directly to the king or the the emperor. The emperor. Yep. Okay, continue. So the and there's spoilers for you know the first part of the book, right? Um, the the mother like mind wipes the father and then proceeds to sell the daughter to this um says hey i'm selling you off to this uh blood you know evil sorcerer right okay this evil magician and the daughter gets so pissed off that she smacks her in the face with a poker and the mom falls and busts her head and, dies. and like dies and so the daughter's sitting there her her father is has no idea who she is probably no it is like a vegetable and everyone in the household was turned into a vegetable because the mom was trying to cover shit up. So they have no idea what's happened. Yeah. And it comes to that she gets found by who? The ghost. No. The sorcerer. The evil For, sorcerer. The, she was gonna... the evil sorcerer dude finds her. And ends up training her. And... No. Oh, dear God. This took a turn. Proceeds to say, hey, you know what's great? is that this girl is a virgin, and our power is more powerful when you use the blood of virgins. And he's teaching, like, mages in the area who are supposed to be on the up and up, but who are not. Yeah. And so he's teaching them, like, blood rituals and stuff like that, and she, he's, like, he would, like, cut on her and, like, cut into this her. This is through, like, the ten books, right? No, this is the first book. This is the very first book. This is the introduction. Oh, dear God. And there's 30 books roughly to this. Yes. And so in the first book, like he's cutting on her and then he'll heal her and then he'll cut on her some more. Blood magic. Rinse, repeat. Yep. And and like he's like forming like this gem of like blood and life essence and shit like that. Yeah. And he's like, you can use this to keep yourself alive and to extend your lifespan and do stuff like this. So it sounds like he's unintentionally teaching her magic. No. She doesn't have the ability to use magic. But she knows about this stuff. Well, now she does. Well, I mean, obviously through her mom and everything she does. So what it comes to is, you know, she's being kept in a cell and everything. And she, like, I think it's, she takes a nail and she manages to, like, work on the door. Get through. To get through. And she goes out and she's, like, wandering around in the darkness in these crypts. And... She keeps coming across like dead bodies, right? Uh, like all her jailers and stuff were dead. dead. Yeah, just Ugh. like dead on the ground, and she's not quite sure why. And then she overhears some people talking, and there's these three people talking, and they're talking about how they poisoned everyone. And then they go, "Hey, like she, she obviously she's malnourished. She's yeah. been injured repeatedly and stuff like this." And, um, they like clue into her because she stumbles into a wall or something like that. And then they go, oh man, we're, we are the emperor's ghost. I was waiting for the ghost. Yeah. To come in. <laughs> and so they end up taking her in and they, they train her. And as part of the process, because she had had all that blood magic, like repeatedly used against her. She now has the ability to sense it sense better when people are using magic. She doesn't. She can't. She use can't magic. use it, but she knows. She has like a ghost, not ghost star, but like necromancer radar. But they teach her how to be a thief, how to be a spy, the ghost do. how to be an assassin. Oh my goodness! How to disguise herself? How to how to do all this stuff? Sounds and, like Israel special forces right there, right? And through, and so what? And you know, this is during. It almost feels like. Um, the time period almost feels, I, I mean, obviously this is a fictional world, right? Yeah. But the time period almost feels like during, you know, 
Um, uh, crap. American War, no, European no, no, War. No, 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 no. Further back, further back, way far, far back. Uh, Chinese Dynasty. No, 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 not uh, Chinese. Russian Dynasty. No, 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 no. Uh, are we talking in Pacific area? Yeah. Which region or South America? Uh, like England through Egypt. Okay, we're talking about Renaissance time period. No, 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 no. After that? No, before. Before Renaissance. I, Talk- why can't I remember right now? Are I don't know why I'm blanking. Lords, kings, over emperors, certain areas. Emperors. emperors. Not in Europe. Yeah, I mean they had an empire that went all the way through empire, Europe. But there were still kings in Caesar, Egypt. Rome. Yeah, Caesar, yes, Rome. Okay. It it feels like the Roman Empire time. Okay, I mean, they had some pretty brutal yes. assassins. And there's slavery and, and stuff like that is around. Yeah, we and, win, you're ghosts, our slave. The ghosts are against slavery. Yeah, we're the either going to kill you or we need something from you. The ghosts are against, um, you know, sorcerers who don't keep themselves under control. Nobles who... You know, extend their hand further. Extend than... their hand further than they're supposed to, or indulge in slavery, or anything okay. like that. And so she gets trained into how to do this. And over the course of, in like, I can't ruin because there's like some overarching big bads, right? But like yeah. over the course of this, she interacts with a number of sorcerers who are trying to bring about the end of the world through one means or another, and she thwarts them through intelligence and skill. Versus Mage Hand. She has no magic. Yeah. Right? She, she just, has no magic. She knows with her little radar from everything she's gone through. That's, that's the most magic that she's got, but everything else is skill and And that's just sense. The more you're around something, the more you're going to be right. privy to it. That's it's quite interesting. Oh, and it goes places. It goes places. I don't think I'm going to touch that book series, but it sounds good. You probably should. I probably will, but... You probably should, bro. 